What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today I am insanely excited to bring you guys an unboxing and review of this bad boy right here. This is the brand new Astro A50 wireless gaming headset. It just came out today. I knew you guys want a sneak peek of this thing and uh, man am I excited. So I've always been a little bit more of an A40 type of guy. If you guys don't know the A40s are the wired version of the Astro headsets and uh, I don't know, I think with this A50 in all the new upgrades and kind of simplifications and stuff like that, I think I may have to make the switch over to the wireless side for convenience sake. So uh, we're gonna hop into this thing. I'll do an unboxing right now. Then I'm gonna cut and take a couple of days to try these things out, see how I like them, and come back at the end of the video and uh, give you guys a little bit more of a comprehensive review. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and hop into these things. So we are gonna open this up. Astro packaging, I'm sure you guys know if you've ever purchased anything from them is absolutely insane in a good way. It's just, it's very solid quality packaging. So we're going to get this sleeve off right here. Boom. There we have it. And we're going to open up this box and voila, there we have it. This is the brand new A50 headset. Now you guys will notice that on the sides here, I have this shiny metallic anodized blue, which looks really, really nice, especially with that matte black on there. And the reason for that is this is the headset that's optimized for PS4 and PC. There's also a headset that's optimized for Xbox One and PC, which is the shiny anodized green, as you guys can see right here. It looks really, really good as well. Now, I say they're optimized for it because they work better with their specific console than the other one does, but they can both at least get game audio, all right? So the way that they do that is the way that you get audio. So this is your optical cable right here, and this plugs into the back of your PlayStation 4 or into the back of your Xbox. So if I took this and plugged it into the back of my Xbox and then plugged it into my base station, I'm gonna get Xbox audio through these even if they're the PS4 version. The only thing I'm not gonna get is Xbox game chat. So uh, later on there's gonna be a way for you to be able to get both, we'll talk about that later. But uh, for right now, if you want game chat, you have to get the headset specifically for your console, but you're still gonna be able to get audio from both consoles and from your PC and everything else no matter what headset you get. So I know that's a question a lot of people are gonna have. But uh, yeah, so this is your optical cable which is how you get audio. And we have the headset itself, which we'll go into a little bit more detail in a second. Uh, we're going to open this up. Right here we have our instruction manual, which we're not really going to need. It does have a card in here telling you to upgrade your firmware before you think your headset's not working. So yes, you can update it, which you definitely want to do as soon as you get it out of the box. So don't forget to do that if you guys get one of these things. And now we're going to get into where the magic happens. So this is the kind of like secret sauce of this new A50 headset. This is your base station and this thing is absolutely magical. So what this is, is a cordless charging station for your headset. What you do is you take this USB cable over here, it plugs into the back of your base station and then you can send it over to your Xbox or your PlayStation or your PC or whatever else. So that's the only cord and then it just kind of sits there on your desk or your table or wherever else and if you want to charge your headset, you just drop it in right like that. It's magnetic, it sticks in there, and then it would be charging, which is absolutely amazing. So there's absolutely no cords. Like it's just, it's sitting there on your desk, you pick it up, you game, when you're done gaming, you throw it back on there, it starts charging again, which is amazing. Now before we dive any deeper, this is relevant to what we were talking about earlier, and I know this is gonna be a major, major question, so I wanna make sure that we hit this home. This is what makes it specific to the certain console. Yes, this headset is blue, which implies PS4, but this headset is compatible with any base station out there. It'll work with this one. It'll also work with one that comes from an Xbox edition. This is what makes it specific to the console. So since this is the PlayStation 4 edition, this has internal components that allow it to communicate with the PS4 and enable voice chat on PS4. If you get the Xbox edition of the headset, you're gonna get what looks to be the same thing. It's gonna look and perform the exact same way, but it's it's going to have internal components that communicate with Xbox. So that's the major difference there. Your game audio is coming in the back either through optical or through your USB. So no matter what edition you get, you're going to be able to get game sound from both consoles and from PC. But you need that specific base station if you want to be able to chat on a certain console. And right now, 
the only way you can do this is either buy the PlayStation and PC edition or the Xbox and PC edition, but eventually Astro is going to allow you to buy these things separately. So let's say that you have both consoles, you want to be able to voice chat on both. Right now you could buy the PlayStation 4 edition, you're going to be able to chat on PS4, use it on PC and get game audio on Xbox, but then when this separate base station comes out for Xbox, you can buy separately, you could just buy that separate. So you could have your PS4 edition base station, your Xbox edition base station. When you want to play PS4, you set your headset on this there, it's communicating with your PS4. When you want to play Xbox, you set it on the Xbox One and it automatically flips over and now you can play on Xbox. You don't need to buy the headset again, you just need the separate base station. So that's pretty cool and uh, it's convenient if people have both consoles and want to be able to use both. Let's take a closer look at this base station. So up top here, this is where you charge the headset. You guys can see there are a couple different pins here. They're actually magnetic, so the headset's gonna click in and click out, which is really nice. On the front, this is a display. It'll tell you about your battery life, what mode you're in, all kinds of things like that. On the side, we have a USB charging port, so you can use this to charge the headset while you're playing. I don't think that's ever gonna be necessary. The headset has a 15 hour battery life, which is obviously very, very good, but you could use this to, I don't know, charge a cell phone or something else. Uh, you also have this right here, which is the nod to switch from the PS4 mode to the PC mode. On the back, we have a 3.5 millimeter in-out jack, which can be used for a bunch of things. You could actually plug your phone in there and be able to take phone calls with the headset. Now, obviously you can't do that with the iPhone 7, but uh, you know, you can do that. You could also, I mean, if you had a mic, you could plug a mic in like that. So you could have two people with mics. I don't know, there are a bunch of different options there. These are your optical in and out. So this is what is likely to be coming from your console and going into it. Most people won't need an option for the out. If you have like a stereo setup, you might, but for me, I won't be using the out option. And then here is where you plug the USB in. Usually I have mine running to my PC because then I can get game sound from my PC as well as from my PS4 through the optical. So that's kind of how I use that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the base station. Let's check out the headset. Man, I cannot get over how beautiful this thing is. I really love this color combo, but uh, when you put the headset on, you're gonna have it like this. It's gonna go over your head. The mic is gonna be on the left side. Now, one cool thing is it has flip up to mute. So normally, if you wanted to be talking, you would have this down and it's a kind of bendy, flexible mic so you can get it close to your mouth so you sound better. And then when you wanna mute it, you just kind of flip it up. So if you want to quickly talk to somebody or take a phone call, you flip it up. When you're done, you flip it back down, you're unmuted, which is pretty cool. Uh, over on the other side, this ear cup actually has your game versus voice balance. So depending on how much you want, if you aren't going to be chatting with anybody, you want all game sound, you would just click this all the way until it's all game sound. And then if you had voice where you wanted the voice to be low, but the game to be high, you could just do a little voice or you could click it a lot more to have mostly voice and little game. Depending on what you want and depending on what game you're playing, it's really, really convenient to be able to adjust those kind of volumes and uh, then also on the right ear cup we have all of our buttons so we have the power button we have the button to turn on Dolby Digital 7 point run surround sound we also have a little switch for the three different presets so you can set different presets in the software to set different settings for like game sound audio levels all kinds of stuff like that so you kind of set it up for a specific game that you like or you could have like a you know movie watching mode or whatever else you want you can kind of preset those and then quickly switch between them. And then finally there is the master volume switch here which will turn everything up or everything down. And uh, that's pretty much all you have in terms of the buttons and stuff. Like I said, it's a very, very simple headset. Now something kind of cool that you could do to completely customize this and make it your own is you can use the Astro Mod Kits. So you just kind of pull this off and this is a kind of cloth soft material that will be going around your ear. I actually really prefer this version, but they do sell mod kits. I have an example one right here. This one is all leather. So if I was to open this up, which I guess I could do, kind of pre-opened it. Try to get this thing out for you guys. Boom, there we have it. So this has all leather. So you have a leather pad for each ear as well as leather up top on the headpiece that you can switch out up here. And if you wanted to, it's as simple as just pulling this off and throwing this back on. I think I had it upside down. Maybe it's for the wrong earpiece. Um, there we go, that's how you do it. So yeah, you can just, look at that. We just switched it that fast and now we have leather around our ears instead of the cloth. If it, uh, I don't know, maybe that'll make me sweat a little bit less. I might have to check that out. But uh, yeah, you can customize that. I'm sure they're gonna have more uh, options for the mod kits coming out later, different colors, different materials, all kinds of stuff like that. You can really make your headset your own. So that's pretty much what we have for an unboxing and brief overview of the headset. 
I'm going to be using this thing for the next couple of days and then I'll come back and uh, give you guys a little bit more of a comprehensive review. I'll show you how the software works and all kinds of stuff like that. So see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, uh, we're back. It's been a couple of days since that last section of the video. I've been using these things all weekend long. And uh, let me tell you guys, I am in love with this headset. I really, really enjoyed it. Now, in terms of audio quality and mic quality, I think it sounds really good. I'm not like a super big techie audiophile guy though, so I'm sure there's better stuff out there. I'm sure there are like super nice studio quality headphones and stuff you can get. But for what I use these for, for playing games and listening to footsteps on COD and watching YouTube videos and listening to music and stuff like that, it sounded really good to me. So that's really all I need it for. I don't need it to be super over the top. So I'm happy with that. What I'm most happy with though, is the convenience like it's so nice to have a wireless headset like right now my headset is still connected to my PlayStation 4 even though it's like around 30 feet away so it, it's, it's just crazy that like so I'm sure you guys know Astros you wear them like this of course but then they also fold this way so they can sit comfortably on your neck so like right now I can barely even feel these things. They're so light. So, you know, if I'm done gaming, I'll set them down like this and I'm just kind of browsing on the computer or I'll get up and walk to go get a drink and go back to the office and stuff like that. I don't have to worry about like taking them off or getting up and forgetting they're plugged in and pulling the mix amp off my desk and all kinds of stuff like that. Like it's a, a totally a first world gaming problem, but it's so nice just to be free. Like I hate cords. And so not having any cords attached to me while I'm gaming is really, really nice. And it's kind of an underrated feature that I didn't really think about, but I absolutely love the convenience factor. And uh, I mean, on top of that, you have the charging and, and not charging. Like if, when you're done gaming, you just you set it down and it's charging. When you want a game, you pick it up and you're all good to go automatically. It's just, it's crazy how convenient it is. It also has an accelerometer in it. So even if you don't get it all the way to your charging station, if you're feeling a little bit lazy and you just want to set it down, after a couple of seconds, it automatically shuts off to save battery. And then you pick it back up, it automatically turns back on. So it's just, it's, it's really, really nice in terms of the convenience factor. And that's by far my favorite part about this headset. Now let's talk logistics, okay? We're gonna talk price, we're gonna talk other headsets you can get from Astro that may be a little bit cheaper but are a little bit different and stuff like that because I know you guys are going to be interested in this. Now, before we get into it, I do want to say that I am sponsored by Astro. However, this is not a paid promotion. I'm not getting paid any money to make this video. I'm not getting paid to say nice things about the headset. I do have kind of like a, a discount code with them, so I'm going to link it down in the description. If you guys use that link to purchase your headset, you can get 5% off, which is good because 5% off of a pretty decent amount for the price of these headsets is actually a big discount. And I get a little cut of you using that 5%, so I do get paid a little bit, but I wasn't like paid a flat payment for this video or anything. And the reason why I'm sponsored by Astro and have been for the last six years or something like that is because I absolutely love the headset as do a lot of other YouTubers and pros and all that kind of stuff uh, out there. So uh, it's a very, very solid headset and I wouldn't try to you know tell you guys something that it wasn't. So um, this headset right here, the brand new A50s, this is $300, which I know that's really expensive. Like 300 bucks is a lot of money, but you kind of you get what you pay for, I guess. There probably are other bargain options out there you could go with, and I'm sure they'd work and they'd yeah, be sufficient, but honestly, there's a big difference between this, a $300 headset, versus like an $80 headset you get at Best Buy or something like that. Like, both in terms of the audio and mic quality, but also just in terms of the build. Like, this feels super, super solid. This feels like a really nice headset. I don't, I mean, I'll drop it. I know it's not gonna hurt it because it's built so solidly, and it just, it feels really, really nice. So it performs really well. It feels really nice. It's a solid headset and so if you guys have the money to be able to spin like that then it might be something worth investing in because it's definitely going to last you a lot longer than something on the cheaper alternative route. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind. But um, there are other Astro options out there which I still really like as well. So like I said, this, the A50s, the wireless version is 300 bucks. The A40TRs, which is essentially the wired version of this headset, are only 250 so you can save a little bit of money there now granted you are losing that convenience of the wireless option um, you also you can't customize the microphone on the a40tr so this and the astro command center which is like their special software you can actually change like the different levels and presets for your microphone to make it sound different which is convenient if you want to use this for like live comms recording youtube videos 
but um, that's not the biggest deal in the world. The A40TRs, they're wired, like I said, so they're kind of meant more for tournament use. Like they, they have the mod kits where you can change it from open to close back to get more outside noise coming in and stuff like that. Really, it's meant for pro players. So if you're somebody looking for a convenient headset for gaming at home and possibly doing some YouTube, this is a good one for that. If you're looking for a headset you can use at home, but you also want to travel to tournaments and actually compete, you definitely want to go with the A40TRs. Now there is one more option, and that is the older version of the A50s. So since these things just came out, the previous generation of A50s are now discounted down to $210, which is a pretty good deal. So there's still a wireless headset, they're just not nearly as convenient. They don't have the base station that you set them on to charge. It comes with another cord you have to plug into the headset to charge it when you're not using it, which obviously is not as fun because you, you don't want wires. I just, I hate wires. So you lose convenience there. You also have to add kind of like a little mix amp responder transceiver type thing into your setup too which is a little bit more inconvenient but overall it's still a solid headset so if you guys don't want to spend 300 bucks you want to save 100 bucks and just lose a little bit of that convenience you can do that it's also worth noting on the old generation of the a50s on the xbox side of things you have to have a cord that runs from your headset into your controller on this new generation you don't so that's also a pretty big deal like i said my least favorite thing in the world, at least one of them is having stuff dangling from my headset when it's supposed to be wireless. So uh, that's kind of where we are. So there you guys have it. You got three good options. You have the A50s, brand new ones, which are kind of the cream of the crop for 300. The A40TRs, if you want a wired version that you can take to tournaments for 250. And then the old A50s for 210 if you want a little bit more of a bargain option. But um, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said earlier, I do have a discount link down in the description. So if you guys want to click on that, if you go buy them, you're going to save 5% and I get paid a little bit too. So you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. And um, I tell you what, let's go ahead and give a pair away, okay? So I love you guys. I love all the support you guys have been giving me. I'm really excited for this year of Call of Duty and all the other awesome games which are coming out. I'm going to give away a pair. Not this pair, because this is my pair. But I will leave a Gleam link down in the description, and uh, you guys can go there. There'll be a few different things you can do to get entries. And uh, then once we choose a winner, I'll ask them if they want the PS4 or the Xbox version. And one of you guys will get a brand new headset, which is, uh, is pretty exciting. Santa Martin on the job, baby. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all your support. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.